This video was recorded live on my Twitch channel. Check out all of my live streams down in the description below. Next up is the 10 minute races, a series of races within 10 minute time limits. The final standings will be decided based on who crosses the line in first place after the time limit has elapsed. So 530 performance points or less, we have Brands Hatch, Grand Prix, Sergito di Roma, and Big Willow. So for this, we're gonna go buy another car. Let's go over to Asia. Let's go to Subaru. And for this one, I'm going to buy the 2009 Subaru Impreza WRX STI Spec C. Now, I would get it in yellow or even WR Blue Mica, but I'm going to get it in Black Pearl. Why? Well, because one of my buddies, name is Will Rogers, who races part-time in the NASCAR Xfinity Series and the Arkham Menards Series, whatever the fuck it's called now, um... He, he owns an Impreza. I don't know if he still owns one, but at least when he was still living in California, he, he owned one. Now that he's in North Carolina, I, I have no idea. But anyways, um, yeah, his um, hatchback Impreza was really nice. So anyways, 10-minute races. Let's go to the first 10-minute race, and it's taking place at Brands Hatch Grand Prix. So, we have just about the same type of field that you would expect at the GT National Championship. Two M3s are leading the field, which is quite interesting. Let's take our sub uwu and get to the, you know, get to the front. Now, I wonder if we can actually get the the victory here I wonder if we can get the victory here and, and kill time at the end to um, to not have to do an extra lap so once again top left corner you can see the timer there counting down 9 minutes and 45 seconds remaining of this race I gotta remember the power of the all wheel drive we can slam on the throttle if we need to to get out some of the corners without massive repercussions. GTR is breaking super early. Only a 10 second deficit. We're already up to 8th place after only a couple of corners. Last year was just chilling vibing but not in the Ritz car I left too much um, I left too much on the table there at, at the exit of that corner oh fuck Yeah, at this rate, I don't know how much of a lead we're going to have by the end of the, the 10 minutes. Like, hopefully it's enough to not have to do another lap. I guess we'll find out. Challenger's heavy on the brakes. So are we. But we get the dive bomb complete. Completely fuck druids up. Although the M3 twins are not too far ahead. They're like right there. Yeah, it's starting to pull away a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. We're literally going to just pull a can of whoop ass on them right now. Can we get around the GTR before entering this corner? Not quite, but we can at least outbreak them. And I used the extra Kirby on the left side, finally.
Now it's time to start pushing like crazy to make sure we open up a big gap. Like with the way that the timer is going down, like roughly a minute 40 per lap. Five laps, let's say two minutes, that's 10 minutes. Let's say, yeah, let's say two minutes per lap, just hypothetically speaking, five laps, that'd be 10 minutes. So five laps around the minute 40 range, that would be a, an extra minute on the table. I think we'd be forced to do another lap no matter what. Well, if we somehow pull out a one minute lead right now, which I find very doubtful. I'm gonna try though. We're gonna lose time on the straightaway here, but through the rest of the track, we'll be able to gain. A bit aggressive, but I'm really pushing here. Oh, uh, if I didn't clip the um, the dirt on the left side, that would have been perfect. Six seconds was the last um, advantage we had over the BMW, crossing the last scoring loop. So now what is, what is it? Nine seconds. Okay, we gained about three seconds through the ground free section of the track. I don't think we're going to be able to do this without doing an extra lap. That's okay. I, I think the only ex the only way we could have done this is if we had a car that met like the 530 PP maximum. But that would have been overkill with this AI, and I mean it would match probably the the M3 G. No, I think the M3 GTR is like 490 somewhere around there point is it would be like a r35 i think that would be the car of choice if i were to try to do this without doing an extra lap of racing now 14 seconds Yeah, we're going to have an extra minute. It's going to be like 50 seconds or so. Just a, We're going to do a total of six laps. Whatever. Nothing you can do about it, really. corner damn look at my third and fourth laps crazy consistency almost robotic Actually, we might... Okay, I, I fucked up somewhere. Um, we're going to cross the line with like a minute 40 left. So, or like a, yeah, like a minute 48 or a minute 47. 
So, six laps looked like it was the minimum, no matter what. We have a big enough lead to wait at the, at the start-finish line. I did lose out on the, the previous lap, so damn. <laughs> What, 29 second lead? Yep, 29.2. It's only gonna increase, so we're good. We're good to the very end of this race. Thirty-one seconds. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, this is fine. This is fine. This is okay. We're wasting time by doing this, so I, I don't mind. All right, let's kill some time. Slow down a bit, so that way we can cross the line with, without having to do an extra lap. Okay, that's, per that's plenty of time. Now this is the final lap and cross the line. That's race number one of the 10 minute race is complete. Completely smoked the entire field. Thirty-nine thousand credits. I think we made the money back on what we spent on the Impreza, or just about, or maybe just a little less. But anyways, race number two. So race number two at Rome Circuit, and the Lotus Esprit is back, back for revenge. I think from the GT National Championship, and or that, and I no 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 for sure the Tour of Europe. There we go. The Tour of Europe is what I was thinking about. behind the RX-7 here. Oh yeah, I forgot. Different circuit, so different camera. of cars here. Did we get by this dude? Yep. Heavy on the brakes. Easily get around him. Already up to P4 by lap one. That Lotus is pulling away, but not for long. Wing around the outside. Made him look foolish. There's the Lotus right ahead. Whoops. 3.3 second deficit. We can get him. Well, duh, we're gonna get him. 
What am I saying? Like, we can get them by this lap, maybe. No. Or, yes, actually. If he doesn't close the door. Nope, doesn't close the door. He's going to pass us again, perhaps. Yep, there he is. Oh, he gets on the brakes like he just did there. Low boy. Now in this race, we're looking at 1 minute 20 laps. So we should probably have a 7 lap race minimum. I don't know if that math is correct. I did screw up my math in um, at Brands Hatch, so we'll see. We will see. Anyway, start of lap four. Another super consistent time. One, both 120.3s. Although this circuit is way more high speed than Brands Hatch is, not as technical, so like, we're not pulling out a huge gap, which is kind of a problem for me, if I do want to park on the side and wait. Yeah, only two second advantage there. That we gained. Not really much room to be gained here. Oh, interesting fact. So, obviously the Coliseum is right there, right? Um, and this Rome circuit is obviously not the same Rome circuit that it, that it was in uh, Gran Turismo 2 and 3. Uh, about that, if you go backwards... This section is the first sector. This is all the first section of like the like the the roundabout around the um, Coliseum. And that entire section is part of the original Rome circuit. The rest of this, no. I do miss the original Rome circuit. That was an amazing track. Rome night, even better and never used in Gran Turismo 2 apart from super license exams and any randomly generated event or randomly selected course for manufacturer events in that game. And arcade mode. Let's not forget arcade mode. Now we're in a double digit second lead, which is good. 13 seconds ahead. Keep screwing up my math, see? Like, we're gonna have to do probably eight laps, because when we're done with this lap, it's gonna be two minutes left, and then the next one is gonna be like 40 seconds remaining. Which, our lead's not big enough to cover that. I don't think it will be. Oh, it got down to the 19th. Nice. I didn't even notice that. 
Like, I'm so focused on just driving this thing and driving as fast as I can that I, I, I haven't been paying attention to my lap times that much. Oh, bonk. I bonked the wall. Yeah, at this rate, we're going to have maybe 37 seconds on the clock. Not enough time to park it and wait. Willow Springs might be the same story as well. Only 19 seconds ahead. Shit. Twenty seconds is pretty good, given the fact we're at a faster track, but it's not gonna be enough. Are we actually about to lap somebody? Yo, we're we're legit about to lap another car. Twenty point seven, yeah, not enough. Anyways, final lap. Yeah, as you can see, he crossed the line 21.3 with like 12 seconds remaining. No way in hell if we were able to pull that off. Now I'm going to push as hard as I can to try to lap P12. Oh, it was the Catfish. The Catfish Camaro SS. We got him. Damn, fastest lap of the race, too. 119.3. Not bad. It says we lapped the entire field, but I don't believe that's true. I think it's just... I think it's kind of a weird timing thing whenever, like, the last lap comes out. and It doesn't go by, I guess, what the leader is on. I guess it just goes by, like just the time so technically they fought they finished behind one lap but yeah anyways race number three so race number three at willow springs big willow and the m3 and the esprit now are joining us which is pretty cool the two heavy hitters of this entire series chase cam for the final race Also, headlights or taillights are on, I should say. They're illuminating. It's um, 7 in the morning, Sim, which is pretty cool. I was a little bit too far to the right. I think if we had clipped the dirt, we would have been in trouble. Is that an M3? Oh, it is an M3. It's the baseline one, though. Okay. Cool. Yep. 
break? Yep, we can. Damn, just easily got around the ZR1. Dude, look at the Esprit and the M3. They're battling hard. I think the Lotus tried going for an overtake, but failed. Also, the beautiful M Spec GTR, although I would prefer it in Millennium Jade. I feel like Millennium Jade is one of the nicest colors for an R34. Don't at me. I'm not saying it's the best one. It's one of the best ones. Like Midnight Purple Sick. Um, the Bayside Blue or Lightning Blue, whatever it's called, is sick. And then the. Or I think it's Lightning Yellow, actually. I'm not sure, but the, the blue that we just saw in that GTR looked good. Yellow looks good, and honestly, every color looks good on the GTR. By your standard horn. And a little flash of the uh, wipers. Do I even have a button for the for the headlights enabled? No, I don't. I think R2 on my wheel is nitrous. Now that I think about it, because we did use the nitrous for um, the Sierra Time Rally. Seven minutes remaining. Like I said, high speed nature of Willow Springs is allowing them to pull away and not really allowing us to build enough of a gap to wait like Brands Hatch. Oh, so, family's here. I'm gonna go mute now, so apologies for, apologies for no comments here from here on, but um, I'm freaking lazy. We're gonna obviously win the race here, take a look at our percentage, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and say thank you very much for watching this particular episode of the LP. We're gonna finish the race, of course, but um, no commentary from here on out. And the next time we go and do another episode of GT6, which will be the Plinkton Digital Cup, We'll be back live! Back with the camera, back with the internet, obviously. Because, um, my... Not only is my internet back up, but any minute now, Amazon should be delivering me my, um... Micro HDMI to HDMI cable for my GoPro. So, yes. Very cool. Anyways, I'm gonna mute now. Thanks for watching the rest of this race. If not, I understand. See you in the next part if that's the case.